Deidre Silas, the Department of Children and Family Services investigator killed on the job, was laid to rest today. Silas was stabbed to death in early January after responding to reports of children in danger at a home in Thayer. Our Jordan Elder was on scene in Thayer, Illinois, when Silas's family learned of this tragedy and was at the funeral with them today. She joins us now with the message Silas's family has for the community. The overwhelming message at Deidre Silas's funeral was celebration, celebrating her life, her love of her family, and her ability to help others. It's a day no parent wants to experience, but on the day of their daughter's funeral, Roy and Barry Graham say they're filled with both sorrow and gratitude. She was really loved. And the impact she, you know, she have on these people, really, I mean, and kids in general, too. Deidre was described as the heartbeat of every room she was in, fearless, giving, and kind. Her dedication to Illinois children always at the forefront. Deidre dedicated her young life, her too short life, to saving the lives of children. And we will go forward in that mission, each of us in our own way. Dozens of DCFS workers in the crowd. Director Mark Smith also in attendance, consoling Silas's family and honoring her contributions. I want to thank her for her commitment to service. A life tragically lost on the job, working to protect vulnerable children. Deidre's father even requesting a partially open casket to show the world what happened. An acknowledgement of the risks Deidre and other investigators face every day. I pray that change comes from all of you and give me so. Friends even pleading with Smith directly. Please help him. Please, sir. I lost a baby and I lost a friend. Roy Graham says Director Smith assured him his daughter's death won't be in vain. So hopefully they follow through and you know, that's going to be nice. So at least when they go to work, you send two people out instead of one, no matter what. Her loved ones with this message to their sister, daughter, wife, and mother. And you already know it's not goodbye, so we'll see you later. Deidre's family is understandably still grieving, but they tell me they'll continue to celebrate her life while they wait for the justice system to do its part and hold someone responsible for her death. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder. Back to you. Thank you, Jordan. A GoFundMe for Silas's children has garnered nearly $70,000 in donations. And Governor J.B. Pritzker ordering that all U.S. and state flags fly at half-staff in honor of Silas. Flags will remain at half-staff until sunset tonight. And the man accused of killing Silas made a court appearance Thursday. The case was presented to the grand jury. The order for a psychiatric examination hasn't been completed, so officials don't know if he is fit to stand trial. He has another hearing scheduled for some time next week.